Let's talk about the integration setup in D2L. First of all, as a D2L admin, confirm the, sorry about that, confirm the Turnitin account ID that is linked to the LTI 1.1 integration in your production and test environments. Assuming of course, that it was initially set up in your test environment in the first place. And to do this from the gear sign, uh, in your, um, from the gear sign, go to external learning tools, manage tool providers, legacy tab, and then choose edit tool provider from the dropdown. ID will be listed in the key field. And on a new tab, log in to turnitin.com. And if you're configuring LTI 1.3 in your test environment and you found the existing LTI 1.1 integration that you have in test is actually using the same Turnitin account ID as your production environment, you're gonna to wanna to clean, click the green plus sign to create a new separate sub account. You can name that sub account, whatever you want. And once you've done, you scroll down to the bottom of the page and click submit. Once you do that, find the new account ID you just created and click the unconfigured button. So again, this workflow is if you find out that your LTI 1.1 integration in test is actually using the same account ID that you have in production. If, however, you're enabling LTI 1.3 in your test environment and you found that the existing LTI 1.1 integration is using actually a different Turnitin account ID as your production environment, locate that account ID used for your LTI 1.1 integration and test, and then click the configured button on that corresponding line. Lastly, if you're enabling LTI 1.1 in your production environment, straight away, locate the same account ID used for your LTI 1.1 integration in production and then click the configure button on that corresponding line. And all that takes us to the same spot where you will click LTI 1.3. Once you do it there, you're gonna click on get started and you're gonna choose Brightspace from the drop-down menu. You can name that registration, whatever it is you would like. And then from there, leaving the Turnitin tab open, go back to your D2L tab or open a do tab and log in as the admin to D2L Brightspace. And from the gear sign, click Manage Extensibility, then choose LTI Advantage and Register Tool. From there, you're gonna choose Standard, and you can name the tool and provide a description if you'd like. Going back to the turnitin.com tab, copy the domain and paste it into the corresponding field in D2L. Then copy the first redirect URL and paste it into the redirect field. Then click and add a redirect URL and copy and paste the second one into that field. Copy the open ID connect login URL and paste it into the corresponding field in D2L. Copy the target link URI and paste it into the corresponding field in D2L. And please note that the target link URI is actually at the bottom in turnitin.com. Then copy the key set URL and paste it into the corresponding field in D2L. I know that's a lot of copying and pasting going on or halfway done, because then you have to copy and paste things from D2L and to turn it in. And we'll do that in just a second. Once you've done the initial copy and paste, make sure that assignment and grade services, deep linking, names, and role provisioning services are all checked. You may or may not have access to the submission review option. I'll talk more about this later. Um, just in case you do not. 
Um, it does not affect your integration. It just adds more functionality. But again, I'll talk more about that later. Uh, be sure to uh, send institution role and make sure that's also checked. Next, you're going to scroll down the page in D2L and copy and paste the client ID into the corresponding field in turnitin.com. Then copy and paste the Brightspace key set URL into the corresponding field in turnitin.com. Copy and paste the Open ID Connect authentication endpoint into the corresponding field in turnitin.com. And last, copy and paste the issuer into the corresponding field in turnitin.com. Once you do that, click Save and turn it in and then close this model. Now we're gonna go back into D2L and click Save, then click View Deployments. Now that that, that kind of stops the, you know, we've now integrated the tool and now we're going to have to set up the deployments in D2L. So what you're gonna do is on the LTI Advantage tab, click New Deployment. Make sure it's enabled. Choose to auto-migrate those links and then choose the tool name from the dropdown. Name the deployment and provide a description if you like. And then scroll down the page and under ex extensions, click all the boxes. Again, you may not have submission review as an option and I'm gonna talk more about that later in the presentation. And under security settings, click all the boxes except for anonymous. As we scroll down under configuration settings, choose grades created by LTI will be included in the final grade. Then choose which org units need to have access to the tool. If you are testing for access to past LTI 1.1 assignments in production, um, because you happen to use the same account ID and test as you did for production, um, so you can test it there, you can enable this at the course level first, if that's your preference, and then make it accessible to all of your org units. Once you've done that, you're going to click Save, New Links. From that page, you're going to click on New Link, and you're going to make sure the link is enabled and give it a name. You're going to paste in the correct URL there, and if you're in the US, you can see the URL that you're going to paste in that. And if you're in the UK, you can see the URL that you're paste there. And by the way, uh, if you're not only in the US, but globally, if you are logging into turnitin.com, you're going to use that first uh, uh, URL. If you are logging in anywhere else, um, turnitinuk.com, you would use the second one there. Um, provide a description if you like. Choose Deep Linking Quick Link from the drop down. And from there, you can set the height and width of the iframe, or you can just leave it as the default size. And when you're done, click Save and Close. The last step in the integration process is to set up a dummy assignment, which will link your DTOOL environment to the correct Turnitin account ID. And to do that, you're going to navigate to a course. And under the Content tab, you're going to choose the tool from the Add Existing Activities button. From the pop-up, choose which platform you are using. Again, choose Global if you are using Turnitin via Turnitin.com. Choose UK if you are using Turnitin via TurnitinUK.com. The Turnitin admin actually needs to enter in the admin email and password here. And then they're going to choose the correct Turnitin account from the list. Again, taking note of which one was used in tests versus which one is, was used in production. Um, when you're done, you're going to click Next. And then you will be prompted to confirm. Oops, sorry. And you'll be prompted to confirm. And when you do, this will indicate that you are all set. 
You can then delete the dummy assignment if you want. Once you have the LTI 1.3 integration in your production environment, it is actually recommended to delete the LTI 1.1 tool link, not the integration itself, but just the tool link.